Okay everyone, let's start your knee strengthening workout. Today's workout is called Say Goodbye to Sore Knees. I'm Tammy Salamone, the Pink Survivor. Well, hopefully you were able to warm up a little bit, maybe on a stationary bike would be great. But I wanted to show you if you don't have access to a bike, what you can do. You can just be sitting like in a chair or on a bench, and then you're gonna mimic kind of that same move of doing like a bicycle. It really will start to warm up your knees, kind of lubricate the joints. So you can do this for a little while. You can switch, of course, to the other leg, because it'd be nice to sit. get you a little warmed up before you start this. And then also you could alternate one leg and then the other leg. You can do a couple on this one and then one, two over here. So you get the idea just to kind of warm up, do that same kind of motion of a bicycle. All right, next exercise that we're gonna start with here is going to be a quad pulse. You can do this seated or standing. It's gonna be a little harder for standing because you're gonna to have to use some of your balance. So all we're gonna do here is this little pulse. I'm gonna bring my knee up here and I'm gonna pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So let's start with that. This is a great strengthening exercise for the quads here right above your knee. You can also feel it here. Just keep pulsing. Good. Let's do a few more. Three, two, one. Keep that knee up now, okay? And straighten. Bend and straighten. Do a few of those. Good. Just trying to give you a little example here. You can really work up to doing, maybe you'll do 25 to 50 pulses and 25 of those knee extensions. Let's switch it over. Do a little here on this side now. Let's pulse, pulse, pulse. Good, You're using your balance here, and if you can't, just do this seated. Keep going. Good. Let's keep it up here. Three, two, one. Let's extend it out and back. Ooh, we start really feeling that in the quad, right? Good. Three, two, one. So yeah, really work on that. That's something you could do anywhere to really strengthen your quads and your knees. Okay, another one that you can do is if you can take some heavy weights. Now it kind of depends on your strength and abilities, but you want to kind of pick up some heavy weights. These tens are kind of in the middle. I'd probably even do like 20s or 25s. And all you're going to do is you're just going to be walking and you could be walking, holding these weights. It's called a farmer walk. And this is gonna help also just to kind of warm you up and also strengthen those legs. So let's do a little bit of this here where we'll walk a few steps up and a few steps back because we're just kind of using limited space. So first we're gonna go forward and back. Then we're gonna use a little bit of side to side. Do this farmer walk. Good. <clears throat> and back. Let me kind of just put this down for a second. Get this a little out of the way here. Because I want us to be able to do a little bit side to side too. I'm going to come to the one side. I'm going to do a little side step in here, just keeping my weights down by my side. So just use the space that you have. You probably could go for quite a long walk down your hallway, turn around and come back. You could do forward, turn around, and then you could do some side stepping with it. So just hold those heavy weights by your side. Good. Let's do a few more of these. Then we're going to get into a few more exercises. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you have a bench, that would be so so helpful for a lot of these exercises, but if you don't, then you're gonna just have to do them on the floor, or I'll give you a little modification. But hopefully you have maybe a sturdy chair if you don't have a bench. Jeez. Good. Just holding the heavy weights. Get your heart rate up. And 
back. Good, one more here. Perfect, okay, so you get that idea of those farmer walks. Okay, I'm gonna put the weights off. So you won't need any weights for these, let's see, next two. So we're gonna do using this, the bench here. I'm gonna put it right here. You could also just do this on the floor, okay? So it's a plank leg lift. So I'm gonna get down to my plank position on my elbows. <clears throat> and all you're going to do now is I'm gonna lift the leg and back down. Lift and down. So right now I'm just alternating. So you just do the same thing on the floor, okay? If you don't have the bench. And I'm also I'm using my abs, I'm sending my abs up and in, so you're getting a little upper body, a little core, and you're also using your legs here. Good. Keep going. Perfect, okay. Now let's just hold this here and let's just do one leg. I'm gonna start with my right leg for 10. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, and switch. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. That's not easy either, huh? All right, next we're going to do, let's see, some leg lifts and circles, okay. So remember, we're just going to do this on the floor. I'm just showing you on the bench because it's just a little easier right now to do that. So I'm gonna lay down on my bench. Lay down whatever side you want. Bend that lower knee. And we're just gonna do a leg lift. Now, my, my toes are not pointing to the sky. They're pointing either straight to the middle or down. Okay, because that's gonna focus a little more on the outside here. So I want you to do a little of these. Good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Now what you're gonna do is hold that Bring that knee in and push it out. Bring the knee in and push it out, good. Feel your knee working here with this one. Good, keep going. One more, good, okay, hold it up. Let's do a little circles now, little circles. Circle, 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 and back. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna switch. Do the same exact thing on the other side. I'll kind of angle it. Maybe you can see a different angle that way. One, make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna be laying on my side, remember? The bottom leg is bent. Now we just come up and down with that uh, leg lift. Remember, my toes not pointed up either to the middle or down. Good. Keep going. Try not to hold your breath. A couple more here. Okay, bring the knee in now. Let's do a few of those. In and out. In and out. Good. Couple more. Perfect, and some circles. Little circles going forward. Little circles going back. Good, okay. Let's see, okay. We're gonna move on now to split squats. Now if you have a bench, your back foot's gonna be on the bench. If you don't, you're just gonna have both feet on the floor. So it'll look like this, coming down and back up. 
If you have a bench, you're gonna have your back foot up on the bench. If you're advanced, you're gonna take one or two of the weights even. But we'll just start right now with nothing. So I'm here, I got my back foot here on the bench, right? And I'm going to come down and back up. Down and back up. These are challenging. Not very easy, but very effective. Good. We can do like 10 on each side, that's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Taking your balance with that one too. And then remember, you would just be holding one or two weights if you want to uh, try and step it up. Okay, I'm gonna switch here. Get your balance here. Get your back foot on that bench. Come down, push back up. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, 10. You can be holding your weights down by the side. You can maybe just be holding one here or just one on one side, one on the other. So see how you feel about that. Okay, hip thrust now. If you don't have a bench, you're just doing this on the floor. If you have a bench, what you're going to do is you're going to wait too so I can kind of show you. I'm gonna have my bench and I'm gonna scoot down so my shoulders are on the bench. See that? So this is the first thing. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna come down and then come up and squeeze your glutes. Down. Down, back up, good. You can support your head here if you need to. Down, come back up. Also, the weight, if you want to, you would just keep resting the weight right there. And you come down, and back up. Gonna make it a little harder. Maybe you'll do that when you get a little more advanced. Good. Give you just a couple more. One, down, two. Okay, great. Okay, let's see. What's next for our knee strengthening workout? We've got just a regular squat. So for those, you can do this with or without a bench. And especially if you're just starting or learning. It's nice too, let me turn again. If you have a mirror, you can look, you don't want your knees to come in. You want them to stay straight or slightly out. And I'm gonna come down. You can come all the way down if you're just learning how to do a squat and come back up. It really helps with your form. Down, you can tap it, tap it, come back up. Tap, come back up. So that's a great way for you to be learning. Go ahead and sit all the way down. Come all the way up. Just don't use your hands. Go down, all the way up. Or just do a regular squat if you don't have a bench. But watch those knees. We don't want them coming in, okay? Good, a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Okay, have some water if you need. Next, we're gonna sit on our bench or a chair or just on the floor if you don't have you. We're gonna do some leg extensions. So all you're doing is you've got your knee out straight here and you're gonna lift up and back down. Up and back down. That's it. So just you can do this one, no problem. Too easy, you can express the weight right there. Make it a little harder. Good. Good. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's switch it over, same thing. If you're like, this is too easy, then just grab weight, or maybe you have some ankle weights. That's a nice way to add a little resistance too, make it harder. Let's start out slow and then move on up. Good. 
Okay, five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Next, it's, um, you've heard of deadlifts, but I'm gonna show you how you can use the bench with it, which I really like, because especially if your knees are sore, it kind of helps give you a little assistance. So, one leg is on the bench, the other one down straight. I've got my weight here, and it's just like a regular deadlift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down straight. See that? There's only a slight bend in my knee. And then I come back up and I squeeze my glutes together. So I come down here. I kind of feel my hamstrings pulling. So that's far enough for me. And then I come back up and squeeze. Down. Core is tight. Down. Back up. Your chest is up. It's not all curved in. And I'm kind of looking forward a little, maybe a little spot up forward there works out great. Now this one, you can definitely work up to some heavier weights, but maybe just start with like an eight or 10 pound if you're just starting. You get real strong, so just move on up to a little heavier weights. Down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. This bench really gives you a nice little option. Good, back up. Down, back up. Down, back up. Let's do one more. Perfect. Okay, switch on over. So I'm just gonna hop on over my bench here, put this other knee up there, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. My core is tight. Focus like on the spot out there. And I'm gonna come down, Light bend in my knee, and then I pull back up. Everything squeezes together. Down, back up. Keep going. So as far as how far down you go depends on your hamstring flexibility. Some people are going to go real far. Some people are going to stop. Keep going. Good. Want to make it even on both sides, so let's get a few more in here. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. I hope you got some help with that workout. Learn something maybe new, some exercises that you can do. Keep doing this though. You're gonna be shocked at how strong your legs are gonna get, your knees are gonna start feeling better, and you're gonna feel so much better. All right, thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.